Okay, in this video, I want to show you uh, a very basic logical system, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna create two videos: one that goes over the basic ideas, and the second one that uh, actually goes through creation of the XBRL for the accounting equation using three different tools. So, this is the starting point of mastering XBRL. Got to start with um, blocking and tackling uh, the basics um, and then we're going to work my way up l little by little and um, you'll be able to create high quality XBRL based financial reports. Okay, so um, the accounting equation assets equals liabilities plus equity. Uh, every accountant knows that and every business person knows that because business people are basically required to take accounting classes, at least one, and they cover this in the accounting classes whether they remember that or not. Um, so, But that's basically what we want to represent. This is a very small um, logical system. So I'm assuming that you've read or you've watched the videos and read the documents relating to uh, logical systems and the financial report logical systems so I'm assuming you have that knowledge um, and I'm gonna build on that and I'm gonna represent this in XBRL um, and a couple other uh, ways to help you understand exactly what XBRL is what it does etc so you can go and get the files here and this is the document where you can read more about this in detail um, so the accounting equation represented an XBRL. So the, the, in the accounting equation, you have terms, structures, associations, also known as relations, and rules, also known as assertions, and facts. So the terms are assets, liabilities, and equity. Um, there's one more additional term. These are simple terms. This is the functional term, balance sheet. Balance sheet is a term. It is used to describe a structure, which we're going to define, uh, just define next, um, that is called balance sheet. So it refers to the structure balance sheet. Okay, so there's our structure balance sheet. So if you want to refer to it, you have to give it a name. And we have named this structure balance sheet. So we have one rule. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Um, that's the accounting equation. Can't really dispute that. Um, it's the rule. Um, associations. So assets is part of the balance sheet. Liabilities is part of the balance sheet. Equity is part of the balance sheet. You can look at this the other way around. Balance sheet has the part assets. It has the part liabilities. has the part equity. Either way. It's the same thing, um, and ontologists might not agree with this, but for our purposes, we can assume um, that these are the same thing. So we only have to define it once. Um, the facts, we're going to have a company, ABC company. Um, it's going to have assets as of December 31st. 2019 of 5,000, liabilities of 1,000, equity of 4,000. Um, so these are the pieces that you're working with. You're seeing, you know, you may think that this is working at very detail level rather than just, you know, putting it into a Word document and calling it a balance sheet. But computers are very dumb creatures and they need to be led by the hands to so they can understand this stuff effectively. So you can summarize our representation um, like this assets this is informally um, balance sheet that has these concepts follows this rule and per all the things that we know about this it is a consistent complete and precise system you can represent that information as a knowledge graph informally so there's no global syntax for this. Uh, I just represented it in the form of a graph. This isn't exactly correct, but it's, it gives you the idea that these pieces of information can be broken down into pieces. Those pieces have relations, and that's basically all we're doing. So this and this say the same thing. 
Um, this is another representation of that information that is a little more formal uh, using the prologue syntax. Um, this both specifies what we said in this logical system and will also test this system to make sure that it is properly functioned and that assets plus liabilities plus equity does in fact equal um, um, the uh, accounting it's consistent with the accounting equation so here's a bunch of ugly looking XBRL so you don't ever deal with this this is what the machines deal with um, we deal with this um, these are equivalent this is machine readable this is human readable machine can't do anything with this but humans can humans can do very little with this but machines can do a lot with it um, and this distills you know you can distill this down this, this is a lot crammed into one slide and this is what you will get when you create uh, these representations in XBRL. Here is the model structure. Here's the rules. There's the fact table. Here are the terms. Here's the structure. And then you take all of this, and you can it, the machine can create this nice looking rendering. So basically, it looks like this on the um, right. You see the human view. On the left, you see the um, same information, it's just organized differently into the terms, associations, structures, assertions, and facts that make up this logical system. And um, it's great when you have a logical system that is consistent, complete, and precise. But think about something. What keeps this consistent, complete, and precise? Okay, just keep that in the back of your mind. So here are all the things that can go wrong, and I covered this in the um, logic in the understanding logical system or the financial report log logical system. The impediments. I'm not going to go over this again, but basically I'm showing you number one is the system working correctly, and there's one way to do that, um, and there are well, here you see six, but I have come up with nine different ways that this could be wrong or misinterpreted. Um, you have to be able to make sure that you get number one and not two, three, four, five, or six, or seven, eight, and nine. So I will stop there. Um, again, this is just an introduction. We're going to dig into this little by little, but if you can understand this, uh, which is there's only a few moving parts. And we're, I'm going to add more moving parts and more moving parts as we go on. But this is the basics. So I'm going to stop there.